In this video, we are going to demonstrate cervical spine stabilization among trauma patients. It is important to assume for all trauma patients initially that they could have some sort of cervical spine injury. So maintaining their cervical spine stabilized is a very important aspect of trauma management. So you will need quite a number of items to do this well, and this is the list. And you will need at least more than two persons to be able to execute this procedure properly. So ideally, we should use a rigid or semi-rigid neck collar. This is an example. However, there are more examples as we shall see later. It has a, a front a front piece which has this curvature to accommodate the um, chin and it has a back part okay however in instances where we lack the proper rigid cervical collar we can improvise with a blanket or we can improvise with a bed sheet and a rig rigid objects for example we can use these two mineral water bottles to create rigid objects that can stabilize our neck for all our trauma patients, it's important to assume that they may have cervical spine injury. Initially, we stabilize the cervical spine using my hands as demonstrated, but we could have gadgets that help us to maintain cervical spine stabilization. For example, our semi-rigid neck collar. In application of the semi-rigid neck collar, we separate the two pieces and we slide the first piece below the head and the other right on top as we are going to demonstrate. So, so at the count of three I'm going to request my assistant to slide the neck collar below me. Okay one two three let's go and on my count I'm going to instruct my assistant to place the other piece. I'm going to remove my left hand so that my assistant can place the other piece. Removing my right hand to bind with the other piece. Okay, so in absence of a rigid neck collar, we can improvise with other materials. In this video, we are going to demonstrate stabilization of the cervical spine using a blanket. This is a, a normal blanket. We just folded it to make to make it this size in order for it to help us stabilize our neck. On my count of three, you're going to lift the neck up and assistant, you're going to receive the blanket. One, two, three. On my count of three, you can relax the head down one, two, three. So the assistant and myself are going to roll the blanket over up to the side of the patient's head. Removing your left hand, remove your right hand. You can help stabilize this. You can tape the rolls onto the patient's head and onto the shoulder. So another material that we can use to improvise for a rigid cervical collar are a bed sheet. We are going to demonstrate how to use a bed sheet and two mineral water bottles to create um, rigidity or to create an improvised cervical stabilization material. So assistant, I'm going to pass this bed sheet over to you and the other assistant helping to stabilize the neck on my count of three, you're going to lift the head such that we, I can pass the bed sheet over. So one, two, three, lift. All right, you may put the head down. Great. So we roll the bottle within the bed sheet. Make sure to, to put the bottom of the bottle towards the shoulder in order to avoid hurting the patient. Remove your left hand, remove your right hand. You can hold this 
again we can use some tape to help us hold our stabilization material in place 